Okay guys, I know my gamers are going to love this next guest. Basola Alugbin is a software engineer for the content support team on the game Valorant. Day in and day out, she is troubleshooting issues to make sure your gaming experience continues to be top tier. Hey, Basola. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great, thank you. So we're going to play Jenga to get to know you better today. Basically, each one of us will remove one block from the tower and place it on top of the tower. If it collapses, then that round of the game is over and we'll start again. As you can see, the tower has four different colors. Each color represents a theme. So when you pull a specific colored block, you have to answer the question from that color theme. The color themes include purple for childhood memories, red for career, green for inspiration, and blue for a challenge. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go. Go for a tough one here. Yes! Oh my God, that was <laughs> awesome. That was amazing. You have to play professional Jenga. Is that a thing? Well, Is professional Jenga? <laughs> I don't mean to brag. Brush yourself with girl. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh. Okay, purple, childhood memories. Describe how you became a game developer. Did you go to college or a university? What major did you study? And why did you choose that major? As a kid, my dad one day brought home an N64 for me and my older sister and said, um, here you go, here's some games. So we started to play those. We played a lot of multiplayer games. We'd go to our friends' houses and play those too. And I always thought, games are really cool. I would like to do that in the future. I uh, went to the University of uh, Pennsylvania um, and I was originally an electrical engineer. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought, you know what? Lightsabers are so cool. I would like to build one of those one day. <laughs> and then I thought, you know what would be really cool and also maybe more more immediately attainable in the near future would be to um, work on a game with lightsabers. <laughs> yeah. um, and so uh, I actually switched to computer science. I minored in fine art so I could get sort of a background uh, about how artists do things. And so a lot of my career has been helping build tools so that artists can do what they need to do to, um, to work on a commercial or um, create a movie or it, where I am now, which is create a lot of cool new content, new characters for Valorant. Oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> wow, sorry. Oh my God. Well, there we go. All right, guys, we are back after I knocked the tower down, but I'm gonna let you go though, because I'm traumatized from that last time. I'll, I'll give it my best shot. Oh, yeah, I trust you. Yes. Yeah. Alrighty. Career. Okay, what is a software engineer? So, as a software engineer, especially in the content support team, we have a uh, a lot of uh, different features that we might want to build out for the content developers. So let's say in one case, um, they might ask, um, how do we make a, uh, a sound that we play sort of uh, have a visualization on uh, the gun skin that we have? The answer might be, well, we don't know yet, but let's figure it out. And so for that, part of that is me saying, okay, well, I'm gonna go into the code and I'm going to um, grab those values from our sound engine um, and I'm gonna make sure that there's that's something that a designer might be able to use uh, to uh, drive a visualization uh, within the game that they need. So there's bugs, but sometimes there's features that we need to build out and sometimes a bug is a feature. <laughs> and uh, there's there's just a, a large scope of things that pop up there. Um, when it comes to programming, you, you discover that there is just a, a whole underlying part of the code base that you 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 take a new look at and you go, well, maybe we can change this or um, fix it or um, optimize it, make it uh, run better uh, or faster than it was before. And just in general, sort of uh, update things so that uh, the players can experience the game in the best possible way. Wow, so that's interesting. Sometimes you go into something and you think you're gonna fix one thing and then you end up fixing a bunch of things. Absolutely, and that it happens all the time. I know that all too well. Alrighty, oh man, I'm scared. Okay, I'm just gonna do it, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it, ooh, you did it. Okay, childhood memories. 
What are some programs that helped you develop games when you were younger? And what are some tools that you would recommend today? When I was a kid, me and my older sister would always uh, use RPG Maker to um, make some small games there. Uh, and what's cool about RPG Maker is that uh, it can sort of help you learn how to code and that it'll give you little logic statements like if this, then that. And you can start to build really cool and smart systems by just saying if this, then that, or for each of these things, do that. Mm. And that's a really cool way to get started and RPG Maker still exists today. Unity is out there um, and it's freely available. Um, I hear that people are making very cool things in Roblox mm. and in Minecraft. I would totally recommend those. Unreal is also free. It's a little more uh, complicated, but I think it's also cool because you can um, hop into it and use blueprints to move um, and create new content that way. You can also start uh, to learn how to program uh, and then build larger systems based off of that too. RPG Maker is a great start. It still exists. And things like uh, Game Maker um, were around when I was a kid um, and are really still being used today. So those are also awesome as well. Oh, okay. Oh, it's your turn. Oh, I will talk forever ah, no, if you're given right. the opportunity. Me too. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, that last career. Oh, mm, that's a great choice. Wow. Oh, wow. So smooth. So smooth. That was very <laughs> smooth. Wow. <laughs> Alrighty. Do you use code to create games? And what are the programs you use on a daily basis? I do use code to create games. The cool thing about code um, and programming is that once you learn one thing, um, you sort of got the basics for uh, a lot of different uh, programming languages. Mm -hmm. On a day-to-day -day basis, I use C++ and I'm using uh, Visual Studio, but you can use a different editor to be able to edit your code. I also, on occasion, might use Python because we build some tools out uh, for uh, modeling program Maya for a lot of the uh, animators or the modelers. All of this sort of feeds back into Unreal, which is what Valorant is built in. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot of different programs that mm -hmm. people can, can take a look at um, and learn. Find opportunities like on a, a YouTube or, or different places to learn how to um, uh, code. There's a lot of different resources that people can look into. No, I love that. That's great. Yeah, and you heard what she said, resources, so remember to watch our videos, okay? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pick a blue. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! I knew that was gonna happen. This, you have been such a pleasure. Thank you so much for all the information that you've provided us, and just thank you for being you and doing what you do and making waves in the industry. Thank you so much for having me. All right, guys, that's all we have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.